P7 for Berman in his first race, 20 seconds time penalty for Kevin Magnussen and the Red Bull 1-2. This video is sponsored by TyCastF1.com. I will talk it later in the video, but meanwhile you can find an 8% special discount in the first link in the description. We are in Jeddah in one of the most thrilling and dangerous track on this calendar. After the yesterday's qualifying, I did a video about it, if you didn't see it, I really suggest you to have a look. Anyway, after the yesterday's qualifying, we saw Max Verstappen in P1, Leclerc in P2 and Paris in P3, then Peak Berman in P11 and Mercedes struggling. So it's all ready for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2024. Before the race even started, Gasly had a problem with the gearbox and so he did retire at lap 2. All the drivers were on mediums and the lights went off. Max Verstappen aggressively defended his position against Charles Leclerc in turn 1, with Sergio Perez making a bold move around the outside in the same turn. Leclerc defended on the limit in turn 2 and managed it almost brushing the wall. Landon Norris did a jump start, but the FIA didn't give him a penalty, because as they reported, the limited forward moving of Landon Norris was within the existing tolerance. The midfield battle was intense as Oliver Berman attempted a try to overtake Yuki Tsunoda in the first laps, showing an intense wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. On lap 7, Lance Stroll had a big crash in turn 23, causing a safety car. So mostly of the drivers pitted, but not all of them. In fact, we saw Lando Norris leading without a tire change, while Lewis Hamilton and Nico Gomering Guanajo opted to stay out as well. Perez's unsafe release on Fernando Alonso costed him a 5 seconds time penalty. DiecastF1.com is a premium provider of Formula 1 models, cars and just focuses on F1. Unlike others who sell everything, DiecastF1.com just sells F1 models and they have almost 100 different types. They tell the stories behind each car, driver, team and season. They have models from $20 and the team behind are actually F1 fans. And because of that, I'm actually really happy to collab with them for the whole month of March to celebrate the launch of Drive to Survive and the new F1 2024 season. So visit diecastf1.com slash minge and get 8% off your first F1 model, car order or type minge into the coupon box at the checkout. But now let's continue with the video. As the safety car ended on lap 10, there was a very good restart. In fact, Alexander Albon sent it all the way around the outside in turn 1, overtaking Kevin Magnussen. But they stayed wheel to wheel and so they made contact in turn 4. This crash between the two costed Magnussen a 10 seconds penalty. Also, Berman at the restart did a mega dive bomb on Yuki Tsunoda to take P11. On lap 13, Verstappen retook the lead ahead of Lando Norris using the DRS. On lap 14, Berman did another overtake, passing Zhu to take the P10, and at the same time Paris passed Hamilton to retake P3. On lap 15, Leclerc did a mega overtake on Lewis Hamilton, that will be his next teammate. On lap 17, Piastri tried to go around the outside in turn 1 on Lewis Hamilton, but they contact and so Piastri got pushed wide. The lap later, Paris overtook Norris and so retook the P2. Also, Berman and Magnussen started the fight that will end on lap 21 when Berman finally overtook Kevin Magnussen to take P9. Magnussen was really hard to pass this weekend and so he tried a very dangerous move on Yuki Tsunoda in turn 4, leaving the truck and gaining an advantage. Another 10 seconds time penalty for him. And there's 20 seconds time penalty. It's not like Ocon, but it can arrive to Ocon. Apart of joking, in that lap, they started a very, very good fight and fun fight to watch in the Grand Prix for like P12, P16. That's amazing, like four or five drivers in three seconds. That 
that was really, really amazing with Magnussen that defended like a lion over the limits and so secured his teammate the P10. In fact, in this fight that started around lap 26, Yuki Tsunoda tried to overtake Kevin Magnussen down the inside in turn 1. Tsunoda was too kind and so Magnussen did an amazing switchback and overtook again Tsunoda with an amazing, amazing fan. In that moment, Tsunoda got passed by Ocon as well. So Tsunoda after that were struggling a lot and so all up 34 Albon did an amazing overtake on him but the lap later Piastri tried again to overtake Hamilton in his best chance in the race but unfortunately he locked up when he was already turning in turn 1. On lap 39 Norris pitted and some laps later he received a black and white flag for weaving on the straight. So at lap 44 Magnussen overtook Albon for P11 and at lap 49 Ricardo spun in turn 1 at one lamp to finish the race. Meanwhile Ricardo Adami, the race engineer of Carl Sainz that for this race was for Oliver Berman, said to Oliver that could bring it at home. And so he did it finally in P7. So finally Verstappen won again the 2024 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and Paris P2 completed a one shoe for the Red Bull Racing. In P3 an amazing Charles Leclerc that at the final lap did the fastest lap. Verstappen tried it before but didn't beat even the Lewis time. But then Leclerc set it a purple, purple, purple lap so the fastest lap of this race and so I'm really happy about it and really happy about the fastest lap at the last lap because he beat it Max Verstappen in the fastest lap. So at the end a dominant Red Bull, a fast Ferrari, also Hamilton and Leclerc were struggling a bit with the high speed uh, because of the rear wing on the high speed on the fast fast straight you know on the straights were struggling a lot for for the rear wing also a no very competitive Aston Martin and Mercedes uh, and the McLaren for me today was the third best car. Also Aston did an amazing job bringing one point at home with Nico Hülkenberg in P10. So my top three drivers of today are three Charles Leclerc, two Nico Hülkenberg and one obviously the driver of the day so what's your top 3 prediction of this 2024 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to like and obviously subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to click the first link in the description to have 8% special discount on DiecastF1.com. For this video, so guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, it's been a pleasure. Cheers.